What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome to Doom Car. My goodness, this is not a pretty looking game at all. Now, wait a minute, FG. Across multiple videos, you said you were looking forward to Doom Car, FG. Now, wait a minute, back at you, all right? I never said I was looking forward to Doom Car specifically. I was looking forward to the idea of Doom Car. And you know what? I stand by it, all right? You ain't gonna just knock FG off his little pedestal here. I stand by it. I still do think a vehicle-based hero collector can absolutely work. But in order for it to work, you, you gotta have some HD assets. No HD assets, Doom Car, not a single one. Look at this game. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's start this bad boy off as we always do, starting off with the cars, the chariots that you can collect. So yes, the game is lacking any type of HD assets whatsoever, and it gets worse. Don't worry, you've just seen the beginning. But if you kind of don't look at that, you look past that, at a, at, a, at a concept level, this is exactly the way I would want a vehicle-based hero collector to look just better, all right? So the cars themselves, like if you just look at them at a concept level, these are really cool designs. I just think at a technical aspect, they just really failed on, they just don't look attractive at all. But when you look at the art, when you look at the, the designs, the spear shooting out and the, and the airplane turbine, like it looks good, right? Like you see what they were going for. Like this one, I really, really do like. So if only they just put a little bit more effort into this game. You got a little bus saw at the bottom of this car. Like this is what I would want it to look like. But once again, just, just better, just better. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into combat. Now, believe it or not, this game is also an idle game as well. Um, so as you guys can see, as you're offline, you're gonna accrue resources, but watch when I click it. No nothing even happens. Nothing even happens, it just stays there. <laughs> You got to go back out, go back in, and now you see, oh, here we go. Now the now your little golden resources go away. Come on, guys. Not a, no. It's just such a lazy game here. So here we are in combat. You bring five of your chariots to war with you. And like I said, this game is mostly idle. So when it comes to combat, it's very old school idle game-esque where you have no control over the combat whatsoever. You just sit back and enjoy the no background music, no real stage sound effects whatsoever. Just a, just a few pew pews and a few boom booms periodically. That's the game. I'll shut up so you can hear it. Listen. That's the game. Right there, that's the game. And like I said, I, I, I'm standing by what I'm saying here, right? I do think a vehicle-based hero collector could absolutely work. And I do like the fact that, you know, you guys are kind of racing through the desert together, but there could have been so much more to this concept. Um, actually having activatable skills is one, um, having different camera angles and going through the backgrounds, more than just the side view, but actually kind of like going through it, uh, uh, like a, uh, a post-apocalyptic town or something like that. Like all the stuff that's going on in the background, it'd be a lot cooler to be driving through that and instead and having alternate camera angles things of that nature i think would have made the game a lot more visually appealing but you can definitely tell that they weren't really going for that or maybe they didn't have the the resources to go for that i don't know but this is just not a pretty game and i don't think that most people once they install it and once they get that first view of it they're not really going to stick around also this is one of those games that try to bore you out of your wallet so for the first 15 levels, and 15 levels is gonna take you a very long time, you are restricted to times one speed unless you spend some money and get that sweet, sweet VIP. I think that's such a weird way to try to get money for people. Like, let's just bore our players to the point where they're like, this game is moving so slow, here, take my money. Didn't work on me, I trudged through it. Mostly for the sake of the YouTube, most people ain't gonna do that. So, just, just a bad experience all the way around. As you guys can see here, there's a couple of ultimates right there. Just <laughs> so anticlimactic there. Some of the spell effects, like that little skull poison attack, you know, kinda. Little flamethrower from the back, little backstab action there. Like you can see, you can like see, right? The potential. I can see the potential here. It just gotta be picked up by someone else that can act, that actually has the resources and of course the vision to bring this to life. Um, so this is this I think this might be the second maybe even the third vehicle-based hero collector that I have covered on this channel. And I do remember kind of what I said in that video, in this video, and probably future videos. I'm like, someone's gonna do this right. S still hasn't done it right yet. And that video was like, the first one that I made on a vehicle-based hero collector, it might've been like two years ago at this point. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe FG don't know what he's talking about. Maybe I just need to stick to waifus. But there you go. 
Um, so that is combat here in the world of Doom Car. So very, very nice. As you guys might expect, you're going to go from stage to stage to stage, three star in each one. As you do so, you're going to get these nice little stage rewards. Pretty straightforward. You've seen it before. After you go through easy, there's hard difficulty waiting for you as well. So that is that. Back over here in the home screen, of course, you have your like your daily resource grinds. You have this little endless tower mode where you're going to be fighting challenges in an endless tower mode fashion. Every single floor is going to give you different rewards, so pretty straightforward there. You got your daily challenge here, which looks like this is going to be like gold. Um, core scramble, I don't have I don't have a single clue what that is. Misty tower and resource station. I'm not going to be playing this game any further to find out what these modes are, but there are additional modes here if you want to... If something about this game tickles your fancy, because at the end of the day, sure, there's no other game that's like this. So maybe you're like, you know what, I, I got some extra time on my hand. I'm sitting around in quarantine. Maybe I will play a little Doom Car. All right, well, well there you go. There is more to the game. Um, this is going to be PvP right here. And of course, just like in typical hero collector fashion, beat up on someone that you know you can outclass. Rinse and repeat. Oh, you can skip. Oh, hey, nice little quality of life there. Shout out to Doom Car. You're doing it right. <laughs> so look at these names. I have a feeling that none of these people are real people at the moment. I might just be one of the highest level people on the server right now. <laughs> I have to imagine. Um, this game right now is sitting at like maybe like a two on the Play Store. And I think it's a mix between um, the aesthetic itself and the fact that they did like a preload, I think. And a lot of people gave it a one-star review. You guys know how it goes. You, you you try to do right. You try to put up your game a little bit early so people can pre-download it ahead of time. And you get ripped in half with one-star reviews. Um, so there you go. That is that. That's the PvP mode. Um, there's also guilds in the game as well. If we take a look, there's, there's a couple of full guilds here. So people are playing. People are playing. Let me just... Can I just do... Um, let's go for... Which guild right here? I'm just... Olympia Rising. Let me in here. Boom. Welcome to it. Ah, come on. This low-level guild. <laughs> um, but pretty much what you might expect with most guilds. Guild tech, as you level up your guilds, you're going to be able to unlock passive resources. How do you know that, FG? I'm just guessing, but it sounds right. Um, elimination quest. What's this all about? Let's see what this is all about. Okay. What the? <laughs> nice aim, FG. Hey, you know what? <laughs> There, there you go. <laughs> you got to kind of shoot ahead of him a little bit. I got it now. I got it now. Look at the pro. Look at the pro FG learning on the fly. <laughs> that's that's what you call gamer mode activated right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him go. <laughs> and you guys saw. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, I got him. Got him. Look at how good FG is. <laughs> and you guys saw it. I didn't have this mode unlocked my first time seeing it, and look at me, springing into action with my game in Powerus. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, make me look bad, make me look bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm really done with this, I'm done with that. So, that's something that you can do to get rewards, okay, thank you, guilds. Things like that when it comes to games, it, it, it sounds cute in the beginning when you do little mini games like that, but they end up not being fun after you have to do them every single day. So this is something that I would maybe, if you want to have it in your game, do it on a weekly basis, definitely not on a daily basis. Um, but as you guys can see, Guild Shop there, Guild Expedition as well, which is probably going to be some type of dispatch mode as it normally is. So that is that. Um, if we go over here to the plant, um, it definitely follows your typical idle game format um, when it comes to using lower tier weapons to fodder up to higher tier weapons. You know, not the best quality of life when it comes to these. I've seen idle games these days do this a lot better, where you can basically just mass upgrade all of your gear all at once, as opposed to having to do it one by one like this. So, uh, would like to see that. Uh, I don't know why I'm asking you what I like to see from the game, but you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's that. Pretty straightforward. Use all your fodder gear, upgrade to higher tier gear there. Um, you can do the same thing with your duplicates when it comes to your chariots. Um, combining chariots increases their, um, basically their grade level. So it goes from like C to C plus to B to B plus, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of how that looks there. And as you guys can see, my top chariots are A plus at the moment, but they can go even higher than that. Um, this game also has a little matrix system, just same as like a lot of these idle games. Um, for the chariots that you're not using, you can plug them into these slots here, and they will automatically match the lowest level of your main team. Um, that way you can kind of, you know, mix and match your squad without having to level up every single one uh, manually. There you go. And then, of course, you can destruct some of the chariots that you are not using. Um, draw is something we're going to do here in a second. Um, when it comes to upgrading your cars, pretty straightforward. 
one uh, one uh, click to equip all your gear. Just like in most idle games, there's going to be breakthrough levels, so you're going to have to get certain mats in order to do that. Um, luckily for the game, normal blitz is uh, available to all players without VIP. It doesn't matter. But if you want a blitz times ten, you got to be VIP for because of course this game is very archaic when it comes to just about everything about it. Um, once you break through, very easy to upgrade your car level. Pretty straightforward. And it looks like once you get SS quality, you unlock drivers here as well. Um, so there is a little bit of like, you know, personality here, I guess, with having some people driving your, your chariot. Um, so that's that. Um, as you guys can see with this messy UI here at the top, tons of things going on, tons of ways to recharge and do limited resources and VIP and event bonuses and all that stuff here displayed in probably the worst way you can possibly display it. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's end this off as we always do with a couple of summons so you guys can see the full summon animation. Uh-oh, my name's up in lights. <laughs> I got the ice dragon. That's not it. That's the salamander. Hold on. Dude, they're trying to keep me in the game. <laughs> Hold on. That's not it. That's not it either, but that's... Dude, the assets are so low quality. Come on, guys. Where is my little... Where, where's my thing that put me in the, in the spotlight with the whole spoiler? Complete spoiler. Oh, it's gold. Here it is. The Ice Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, top tier chariot. It does look cool. At a concept level. <laughs> it looks like a BMW front end, actually. Like, you see the girl? It's like a BMW front end girl right over there. I ain't not going to see it. Um, I got enough to do another multi-pull here. We'll skip through this one here. Nothing but a bunch of fodder materials. Nothing great. Um, and then we can do some manual pulls as well. Can we do these really fast? Um, okay. Porcupine. Ah, come on. See if we get anything cooler. There's another purple. We got the hunter. Someone is going to do this right. Mark my words. All right. Here on June the 18th at 527 p.m. FG said it. Someone is going to make a really good vehicle-based hero collector. All right. It's going to happen. Um, this is actually a special banner right over here. Let's see if we can get the... Oh, I was about to say my name's in lights again. It is not. The Nightblood is the name of this chariot. So this is going to be like the special uh, limited banner character. Come on, Salty Mike. Why you got to be doing the same pulls as, as I am right now? <laughs> Raging Bull. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is a look at Doom Car. I was, I was kind of, yeah, all right. I was semi looking forward to this game because of the concept of it, all right? I didn't know it was going to look like this at all. Rapid Advance will automatically upgrade all your character or your chariots right there to the next tier. Thank you very much. And now we can start upgrading. <laughs> you talk like you're going to keep on playing FG. You don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, where's my new little vehicle here? My little Oh, it looks so much worse here. It looks so much worse here. Ah. Uh, it looks better here. It looks better here than it does here. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, guys. I am out. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching. This was Doom Car, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Flyboy07, get out of this game. What you recharging for, Flyboy? Come on, man. Spend your money somewhere else. <laughs>